For this I was born. Good. Look at this beautiful French bulldog puppy named Ozera. How old is she? She will be five months. For this I came <laughs> into the world. Good. Okay. So, training a French bulldog is arduous and laborious enough. If you don't even with hold on. good so training a french bulldog is arduous and laborious even with the proper training equipment and it's much more difficult if you don't have the right size training leash and collar so again a lot of people are going to be pissed off about this but i know better than you my name is Arun i love those dogs in person trust me i know better than you so we have not used this collar on her rather we have put it on her but it has not been tethered I, I put two extra links in it. The problem was maybe a couple of links fell out along the way. Let's go ahead and attach that to her. So let's just drop the leash and step on the leash. There you go. I know you're not gonna tell her anything. You wanna make sure the chain is not, there you go. You wanna maybe put it on the other side of that collar. Yeah, there you go. Better for it to be up higher than lower. Good. And typically if you're doing this at home, I would be chanting the word good the entire time good, because she's good. allowing for it to be put on. Good, I don't good. particularly give a fuck if the dog sits. And I tell you, if you ask your dog to sit before you do this, you're fucking good, up. Good. Your dog is not going to appreciate being told to sit and then lose their liberty. They're not gonna appreciate that shit, okay? So don't do it. Just anticipate that they will sit. And if they do sit, you're going to give them a kiss and tell them good sit for doing so whenever you put that collar on. So see, she's not scratching at this collar at all anymore. Hi, my love. Oh my God. Her fat neck puppy. Her fat neck puppy. Her fat neck puppy. So, for context, she lives with bullies. And so she has little, you can't feel them, but she has little bite marks and tiny micro scabbing a little bit because she plays with the other bullies and they roughhouse one another. And she gives it as good as she takes it. And may I tell you, <laughs> I agree with it wholeheartedly. That play, that dynamic makes this dog less likely to play bite you than if you have a puppy that you shield and keep from being play bitten by other dogs. In fact, at a very early age, you almost have to start taking the babies away from mom because mom will start correcting the ever-living shit out of them for Good using shit. their teeth when they suckle. Good Even though they're innocent, moms don't give a particular fuck in that context. Walk around her and tell her to stay, please. Let's take advantage. There you go. I wasn't gonna have you touch her, but that's perfect. Good stay. That's, no, no, don't apologize. Good, perfect, stop right there. One rotation is enough, good. Awesome. So we're gonna start with working her, yes? You're applying pressure up towards your shoulder blade to get her to put her butt on the ground. Now see the angle that you're coming around? I like that, I appreciate, good sit. I appreciate what you did. She's so cute. What I mean by the collar is I would rotate that collar, the leash, so that the leash is, is hanging towards the left instead of towards the right. You see how it's towards the right? So just rotate it, rotate it counterclockwise. This, this one? Yep, there you go, like that. There you go, right there. No, but now bring the leash around her neck. You see what I mean? Okay, much better. And I wouldn't tug on it needlessly. Good. And that's okay, you touched her. So because you touched her, it's okay for her to stood up. And, no, no, leave her alone, please. For the love of God, let her fucking make it, okay? So if you touch her, you want to give her at least five seconds before you impose your will on her again. Again, She has to understand that touch is a release, okay? Okay. So that's perfectly all right that she's doing it. Now you can step upon her, and now I would apply pressure to get her to sit. Good. Sit. Again, she's not tethered to that collar. Good sit, pretty. Good sit. Good. Good, good sit. sit. And now you're going to, good. good now you're going sit. to tell her to heal and you're going to start walking towards me, please. And you're going to walk however you think you should walk. Good job. Good. You're very consistent. Not letting her sit up if you don't touch her. Good. Now you're going to touch her and start to walk. Good, good heal, my love. Heal. Good heal, good my heal. love. So pretty. You're good making every heal. decision. You're making beautiful good decisions. You're a natural at this. Good. Perfect. Good heal. Start to slow down and come to a stop. You're making every decision perfectly. Good. Good sit. Okay. Very good. You're doing very well there. Now, I want you to walk around her without bending over, without touching her. Walk around her counterclockwise in a tight circle. One time though, please. Come to a stop at the reset. Good stay. Pretty. Apply pressure. Put her back down into it. Good. Don't tell her to sit. Good sit. So you don't give, you're not issuing commands. Okay, you're just rewarding and acknowledging when they make the right decision, even if you force that decision upon them. Okay, good stay. And she's doing very well. There's a big fucking machine augering the ever-living shit out of Mother Earth. 
Okay? <laughs> so shit. And we already talked about Mother Frenchies. Can you imagine how pissed Mother Earth gets? So very good. Now, I want you to tell her to heal and start to walk towards me. Then you're going to cut to your right. Heal. You don't have to touch her this time. Heal. Good heal. Good heal. Perfect. I do appreciate your consistency. Good heal. Turn to your right, please. Good heal. Give her some slack. Nip. Good. Come towards me, please. Start to slow down and come to a stop. Good sit. Apply a little. Oh, you did it. Good sit. And that's okay. Fuck it. If she's sitting and she goes into a scratch, Good we sit. love it. Good sit. Now you're going to ease yourself off of her. If she stands up, you're going to apply pressure without telling her to sit again. She's doing fantastic, huh? Good stand, sit. Stand right next to her, please. Perfect. Right there. Perfect. Now I want you to walk Good away sit. from her. I want you to do a wider counterclockwise circle. Okay? Without fucking with the leash too much. Okay? So don't make it. Apply pressure. So don't. There you go. That's perfect. You're doing perfect. You're doing perfect. Good sit, good sit, good sit, and now walk around her like that. That's perfect. I'll do it again. You're doing perfect. You're doing perfect. You're doing perfect. Everything you're doing is perfect. Good stay. You did that fucking shit perfect. Stand right next to her. Apply pressure. You did that perfectly, and now you're gonna pause because she fucked it up at the end. But you did everything perfect. I'm thankful that she fucked up so much. But you did everything perfect. Okay, I'm telling you the truth. You want your dog to fuck up and struggle during training, yeah? I particularly am not happy unless I have some kind of conflict or struggle, okay? Good stay. Pretty. You're just teaching her temperance. Now walk her. Now, now you're going to tell her to heal. The reason I'm asking you not to touch her as much is because you're having to touch her to put her butt down. So once you don't have to do that as much, then you can go back to the touching. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I want to keep the lines very clear. That's why I keep, I, I should mention that to you. Okay. Out of respect for your gangster, okay? Good. Now tell her to heal and start to walk, please. Heal. And now, and then you're going to do a turn, a regular turn, 180 degrees to the opposite direction. Perfect. Perfect. Keep walking. Good heal. Perfect. Slow down and come to a stop. Perfect. You're doing that perfect. You did it perfect. Awesome. Oh my God. Right there, I would reach down and I would tell her to go bananas, okay? Go bananas. Good, go bananas. Now, no more dictating, commanding, and posing our will on her for at least three minutes let her do whatever the good golly fuck she wants to do the only thing i would do is say good followed by whatever action she does if i appreciate the action does that make sense so if she sits i would say good sit but if she stands up immediately afterwards i don't particularly give a fuck don't suck me the puppy my name is Irwin that i'm from the dog messiah lover of dogs and persons if you can comfortably afford dog training and please do consider using us we're in the houston texas area Yes, we're an exclusive dog training company, and what I mean by that is you have had to have found favor with the Lord and be living the abundant life. Yes, if dog training is not something that you can comfortably afford, don't do it. You should instead invest your time, your thoughts, and your money in the right places. Yes, so if you can't comfortably afford it, investing your money in dog training is not a good idea, but investing your time is the very best idea and your thoughts. Bless you all. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and paw the bell. And as always, good job. That was perfect. I really appreciate it, especially since you stuck around until the very end. One final shameless plug. Do follow us on Instagram. We update our stories daily. And I have a TikTok too. Bless you all. Good, 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 good. So be ye angry and sin not. Don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Instead, you must be still, commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be silent. And as with all things, when you do it, you must be intense in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I will spew you out. Be it that ye are either hot or cold, but because thou art lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't accomplish shit in this world if you're tepid and timid. You must be intense about everything that you want. Set yourself on fire and the world will follow. You are called to dominate the earth. Bless you all. If you love Frenchies like I do, then the first way you should express that love is educating yourself. Whether you already own one or better still, if you are thinking of getting one. So for all things Frenchies, breeding, whelping, or just having one as a pet, check out my Instagram at mookie.bleu.